Hey guys, what is up? Schlappy here, playing some more Creative Earth on the Project Singularity Creative Earth server. Admiring the pillars. I think they're quite cool. A couple more of them going down. I think we're in good standing. Anywho, uh, I did a little terraforming around here. It doesn't look great. I think once the grass grows in completely, it'll look pretty good. Might want to shave away like here so you can see the whole footing of it. Um... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play with that another time. Anywho, I want to knock out a mountain right now. I want to knock out a mountain right now. I'm even considering knocking out this one a bit. Uh, I'm not sure yet. This one might come down as well. Um, but for now, we're going to knock down this one that I was saying I wanted to knock down. As you can see, I have 24 uh, of these advanced extractors, which is an obscene amount. But, you know... So it gives you the box. All right, let's move it over a bit. That's probably close enough. Let's see what it does. Hopefully the server doesn't kick me off. And it worked. That's great. Um, so I'm going to go along and do a few more of these. Dig it a bit down. Um, and we're going to have sort of a, a drop off here. Um, which is going to be cool. It'll probably come around here. You can see how this is actually pretty steep once you get past this. So we're going to kind of bring that into this. I'm not sure what to do with this road and whether it'll just end or what. But uh, yeah, we're in good standing. I am going to go and get some queen bees today. That's on my list of things to do. But right now I'm going to do a little bit more fun with extractors. All right. So this is what I've been doing for a while. You come across, you bump them or whatever you want to call it. I guess activate would be the word, but it's not nearly as fun. And, uh, yeah. Getting a lot of coal out of it. And, uh, I'd say I'm getting a lot of rock out of it, but I haven't been picking any of it up. Anyway, I got one more row to do, which is good, because I only have five of these left. I thought crafting 24 was obscene, but we're actually going to create, like, a little canyon with the peak stone here. Which I think will be cool. It'll be, like, a nice effect. And then we're going to kind of round this out. So it doesn't look nearly as bad, but it will look like there's sort of another mountain. Like, this will be one mountain, and then you have the bigger ones. And I think it'll be a cool effect once it's done. I uh, just got a bit of work to do on it. I'm going to just kind of clear this up and hopefully uh, make some progress pretty fast. All right, probably about halfway done. Uh, it takes quite a while, but you can see we're making progress, and I think it looks real good. So if we come up here, uh, why don't we just come up from the stairway? So if we come up, you can't really see it. It looks pretty normal, right? And then as you kind of come around, it yeah, this is going to be kind of turned into a, something a bit different, but we're not worried about that yet. I think up here is going to look really cool. So, like, it's kind of this huge drop-off. It's going to go down even more. Um, might make a few more extractors. It's going to go down um, probably another six blocks, maybe? About another six blocks. And it's kind of curving in. It takes a little bit of time to kind of make it look a bit more natural. It doesn't look great over on this side, but I think overall it looks pretty natural. Um, but anywho, that's, uh, that's pretty cool up here. It looks pretty neat. Um, I think we're going to kind of round off this side and kind of make it slope down into this. Um, so that's not a big deal, but I think it looks real good. I think it's, it, it's not something that's like crazy necessary, but I think it's something that adds quite a bit to the base. I think it just improves the look a lot more. So I'm going to go a bit further down and then, um, hopefully we're going to move on to something new if I have time. All right, we're over here, and I crafted a super extractor. So we're going to... Are these guys, like, chasing me? What's happening right now? We're going to use this super extractor and see if it goes deeper or wider. Just plop it down right here. A little bit bigger of an area. Let's get it a little bit, a little bit better positioned. Looks good. Let's see. Let's see. So it, maybe it just covers a bigger area. Does it go deeper? Maybe a little bit. So it mostly just covers a bigger area. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I guess. It's, they're pretty freaking pricey, though. They take six Lumite. Um, so they're actually very expensive. Actually, the biggest thing, I had to go get uh, gunpowder. No gunpowder. And what? Okay, that's not there. That was just the server. Um... The game still, I don't know if it's our server or the game, but it's still got some issues. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys the super extractor, see what it does. It's uh, it's all right. A um, little pricey for what it does, but we're getting pretty close to being finished. I think once these are taken out, um, I don't have a huge amount left to do. 
And then I might actually put some water in the bottom of it and run it into there. I think that might be kind of cool. Or just maybe make a little pond at the bottom of it instead of just having grass. But only a little bit of work left to do and then our terraforming is done. All right, I think it's done. I think it's done. I think it looks pretty good. I might shave off a bit more of the top of this and kind of like make it closer to that level. I'm thinking that's probably what I'm gonna do. Kind of like take out the top sort of three of this side. But I think it looks real good. I left a little bit of a room for a pond down there, which is going to probably flow into the river. I think it looks awesome. Good day of terraforming. <laughs> Took a really long time, but um, you know what? It's all about the details, right? And so I'm going to go put some water in, probably shave off the rest of this, and then I'm going to be done terraforming of the day, and we're going to check out something else. All right, I'm over here, which is... Um, Kind of a weird place to start, but I thought I'd show you guys the finished product before we do something else. A lot of terraforming today. This took quite a while, um, but you know, it was worth it. So this is what it looks like. I think it's a really nice spot. I put the mineral water in the bottom. I shaved off the top of this a little bit. It gives you a little bit better of a view. I think I might continue the archways up here. I think that'd look kind of cool. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. It took a long time. So let's go uh, check out what's happening over near spawn, see if there's anything new. Because, uh, not gonna lie, that took a really long time, and I don't feel like doing, um, you know, anything too big right now, you know what I mean? So we'll check out what's happening near spawn. Alright, slow turn. I actually don't know if anything's different over here, so... <laughs> uh... It's slowly loading up. Hopefully the server doesn't crash. That that terraforming took a long time as well because I would do a little bit and then the server would crash and it kind of rolls back a few minutes. So you do a bunch, you dig a bunch, and then it sort of rolls back. It was really a test of patience. That's what I'll call it. Um, but anyway, it's not really the server, I don't think, as much as it was my own internet. because My internet's pretty shoddy at the moment. Anyway, um, I think the only building is really up here. Last time we went and saw that there was a blueprint being built, and I didn't really know what it was going to be. Um, so I kind of want to check that out. It looks like there's something. So there's the farm, the chicken coop, and the windmill. The windmill looks really good. No pathway to it. Um, it's a lot of flowers. <laughs> there's a lot of flowers. Is there a place to go in? What window is that? Reinforced glass. That looks pretty neat. Um, is there a place to go in somewhere? Yeah. Oh, there's two areas you can go in. So there's a windmill. Very nice, actually. This is a really nice build. <laughs> These blueprints, I'm still not quite a fan of them, but I think they're really neat. They're really nice builds. And a little room down here. This would be a really cool little base. Uh, so there's a place up this ladder as well. Just another little room, all right. And I assume there was another place you'd go, right? Right? Yeah. Ooh, the bookcases. I really like the look of the bookcases. It's a little cool little corner area. Nice little... So there's actually quite... I would not have guessed there's that much room from the outside, but that's actually quite a dense little structure, eh? That's really cool. So that's the windmill, if you guys are blueprint people. Um, made by Keens, Kins, I still don't know how to say it. Looks really good though. Uh, is anything new happening or spawn? Doesn't look like Walden's been working on his thing. Um, he, he, he doesn't play a ton on the server anymore, I don't believe. But, anywho, um, that's about it for me today. I'm gonna go collect some queen bees, hopefully, and, uh, have those ready. In the next episode, we're gonna do something other than just a massive amount of terraforming. Um, it was kind of a boring episode tomorrow, uh, or not tomorrow, I don't know when. Next episode, I do want to work a lot on like a workshop type thing. I also want to come over here and work on this spawn house. Um, because if we go in real fast, this is my house if you didn't know. Not made with a blueprint. You can probably tell it's not that good looking. It's kind of a cool little modern house though. Um, but anyway, it's pretty lame inside. It's pretty, pretty lame. Um, so I want to come over and fix this up and use some of the furniture and try and do something. I do have two little pets over here though. Anywho, uh, that's about it for me. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. My, uh, it was probably a little boring, but leave a like if you enjoyed. And uh, subscribe and come back next time, because next time I think we're going to be doing something a little cool. So, yep. Ciao. Ciao.